Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. Uh, I'm going to ask for your patience uh, in this video and please bear with me. Uh, so uh, first off, someone in the comment section, hello to you, mentioned something that completely went over my head. Uh, I don't know if it was just me uh, trying to do too much at once, uh, paying attention to many other things that are actually happening in crypto right now i completely missed over this i'm gonna go over it and it's gonna the video is gonna kind of segue at a certain point and this is why i said please bear with me uh as always i do appreciate your feedback as well because i want you to tell me not not if you think i'm correct like don't validate my uh, my delusions and all these other things uh but tell me if you understand what i'm saying because i feel like something is uh, okay I'll, I'll go through it and i'm pretty sure you'll understand exactly where i'm coming from so this this might actually be a doozy you realize like even my introduction is a bit longer than usual uh so let's jump right into it first off uh the first thing to start off right now is that swift that is the, the you know when you use visa and mastercard you use swift uh, they're having an event right now in Sydney, Australia called Cybos or Cibos, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's happening from the 22nd of October. I believe that's today and is going on for the next like four, three or four days or something like that. Uh, the point is, uh, through all of this, uh, Ripple and uh, the people uh, from Stellar are going to be at this event. There was a lot of speculation as to uh, why Ripple was going to be there, if Ripple was going to be partnering with Swift or trying to take over Swift or trying to internally uh, sit on their stage and talk negatively about them and how they were going to so and so and so. Someone, like I said, in the comment section mentioned this and I sat there and I read around about it and I was like, okay, something is definitely happening. And it has to do with uh, Stellar being at Cybos and also IBM being at Cybos as well. So like I said, Bear with me, get ready, because it's going to get a little insane. So uh, this was actually posted a couple of days ago, so I'm going to start from over here. It says, in six days' times, this is why I said it was a couple of days ago, IBM is scheduled to demo their latest cross-border systems payment system. Uh, it's called Blockchain World Wire, or BWW, at the Cybos Conference in Sydney. The BWW system, which debuted last month, is powered by Stellar's blockchain technology, and is a direct rival to Ripple's X Rapid system. A major difference between the two competitors is that IBM's BWW will be able to facilitate cross-border payments using any cryptocurrency as the medium of exchange, whereas X Rapid is only operable with Ripple's own XRP virtual currency. This hugely promising development is another monumental milestone for both the Stellar network and the overall mainstream blockchain adoption. As IBM reports, it currently runs over 60% of the world's transactional systems, has a clientele consisting of 97% of the world's largest banks, and its own mainframes process over 90% of all global credit card transactions. The first thing that caught me off guard from all of this, uh, one was that apparently this new thing from IBM that they have will be able to use any cryptocurrency as the medium of exchange. Uh, one, the entire point of X Rapid is to be able to use the XRP token, and therefore, this is the, if you will, the quote unquote, the use case for it. Uh, what I find interesting is that I'm finding, I'm, I, I'm going to be as completely honest in this video as I can, as, as as I usually am. Sometimes I try to not like sugarcoat things, uh, but I'm going to try and because this is something that's been spoken about for quite a long amount of time, and I've kind of not dodged. No, I haven't really dodged it. I mean, Stellar hasn't typically been in the news, but the fact that this is all happening right now seems like a good time to be able to uh, get the information out there, if you will. The fact that this is going to be able to allow any cryptocurrency as a medium of exchange um, led me to believe or leads me to believe that Stellar then might possibly not be actually used as the currency that is going to be used as the medium of exchange on the BWW network, as in you wouldn't create a network where you're able to use any cryptocurrency, especially if you're IBM and you are partnered with Stellar, you would then assume that they would only be using their cryptocurrency. That aside, that I, I actually touch on that in, in, in a bit, like please bear with me. Uh, on top of that as well, 
is the fact that IBM uh, has these numbers. And I tried checking their website. I couldn't, like, IBM's website is more or less like a maze. I tried, like, for the last hour, not even joking. I've been looking through their website, and I was trying to find other uh, information as far as to the validity to these actual numbers. On the IBM website, they state in some places uh, something similar to these numbers, but it's not that they actually process these numbers. It's more like uh, the n other networks run on top of IBM, not that, uh, how do I say this? The way that this is phrased, it makes it seems as if, if they're going to be using the BWW, that every other bank that they're using, 97% of the largest banks and 90% of all global credit card transactions would be running on top of the BWW and therefore uh, would be running through XLM slash any other cryptocurrency, which then also led me to the idea that if you're able to use any cryptocurrency, remember I was talking before, I said, I felt like stable coins are going to become something that's quite important. And I wondered why there was such a major push for stable coins the last like eight months. I couldn't figure out why. This also seems like a possibly another missing piece of the puzzle wherein if they have, if IBM has created a system that can be used around the entire world and it's going to facilitate uh, cross border payments and all these, we, we've seen a major push. Remember in uh, five, six, seven videos ago, there was a map that I showed you guys where it showed uh, all the different countries and continents around the world and how many different stable coins had been created. Uh, so that's just one thing. Uh, so as far as the actual numbers, I couldn't find super concrete evidence. Maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Maybe I typed in the wrong things on Google. You know, sometimes what have you, you know, sometimes when you're looking for something, you can't always put in the exact words. One, if, how do I say this? People were asking me for quite some time. First of all, Stellar isn't really in the news that often. Like they've barely ever been in the news or it's like a, like a slight update. Something happened. Like the, the, the most major news that we've ever really heard about uh, Stellar slash IBM was that Stellar partnered with IBM. And that was kind of like the the cusp of everything or like the major ist. It's not a word. The most major things that Stellar had been doing over the last couple of months. If this actually ends up being true, uh, this could possibly be one of the like the sneakiest like backdoor things that I've ever heard in my entire life because you may have noticed, I have definitely noticed, this hasn't really been in the news. I, I, I was checking around for like extra information as to about all of this and I'll, I mean, I'm, you know, really it's just, there's so much to talk about and I'm trying to make sure that I get to all of it because you know, you know like one of those moments where you wanna really say something and it's sitting at the front of your head and you're afraid of losing it so you kinda just like blurt it out. This is kinda where I am right now because uh, I feel like this has to be spoken about simply because there's such a huge uh, thing going on right now where people are constantly talking about the, uh, the not struggles, uh, the war, if you will, between uh, XRP and Stellar. And XRP has gotten an enormous amount of attention over the last couple of months. Uh, don't be fooled at all. I am still uh, a number one fan for XRP. But I'm I'm just going to continue reading because if this is actually true, I feel like this could be a major upset. Once again, uh, rather for the first time, this is not a financial advice. This is not me telling you to go out there and go buy any cryptocurrency that I'm talking about in this video. I'm simply going over the news because I feel like the timing of this is substantial in that once again, I've been saying for months, I didn't understand why November was a very a specific particular time and it kind of uh, then makes sense why Swift would be having their event at this exact same time or why everyone is uh, gearing up to announce anything that they kind of have going on in the cryptocurrency space as in it launching in November or uh, being some significant part of the upcoming uh, world that we end up having especially when you have things like this like golden crossover likely anyway the point is let's continue so Reading around, I, I kept on trying to look for more information as to the exact, like what was happening with Stellar and their, what was it, World, World Wide Web, BWW, their blockchain, my gosh, blockchain worldwide, there we go. So this one says, the latest upsurge in Stellar's price follows speculation that Fidelity Investments may consider adopting 
the XLM blockchain for its digital asset business. The speculation, speculation, the speculation is tied to Tom Jessup, a Fidelity executive who used to run a promising blockchain startup by the name of Chain. The, pro the Chain project was recently acquired by Stellar Development Corporation. Following the merger, the Stellar Development Corporation rebranded it as Interstellar. From an investment standpoint, Fidelity is considered an early adopter of cryptocurrencies. The asset manager has been mining cryptocurrencies for the past four years and recently announced plans to develop a new suite of blockchain-focused products. Stellar has been subject to other positive speculation in recent months as large corporations seek entry into the blockchain area. In August, Business Insider speculated that Facebook was eyeing a potential partnership with Stellar. Although Facebook denied the rumors, there's strong reason to believe that the social media network will soon enter the blockchain area, which, means st which makes Stellar a prime candidate for adoption. Last month, IBM announced it had officially launched its new money transfer business on the Stellar Protocol in a move that would springboard digital currency adoption across the globe. IBM Blockchain Worldwire, as the system is known, utilizes Stellar to settle cross-border transactions in a matter of seconds. Don't even know where to begin with this. First of all, the entire uh, Fidelity situation. Uh, we've heard about Fidelity, especially when it came to them trying to launch their what was it their exchange platform custody service for institutional investors unless i'm mistaken i didn't see stellar listed anywhere as in stellar the company because the token is called lumen i didn't see stellar listed anywhere or even the use of lumens or even the potential use of the uh stellar lumens blockchain uh what I've heard from many other people over and over, and I still have not yet been able to find exact concrete information about this, is that people have been telling me that when you use the, the Stellar blockchain, you are mandated to use the Lumens currency, i.e. if you are using their blockchain for anything, therefore you then must use the Lumens currency. And I have not found that information uh, anywhere. I don't know exactly where that information came from. And also because we've also heard of other, not many partnerships, but other people talking about using the Stellar blockchain and announcing that they were just using the blockchain and not using the exact token itself. Uh, on top of that, Fidelity mining cryptocurrencies for the past four years. I told you guys something was up. I, I said, I, I kept on feeling for so long. Uh, there, There's a really, it for some reason didn't catch a lot of people by surprise that for some reason in 2018 we had like what, what was it like an eight nine ten fold of people who got into the cryptocurrency market and were talking about how great crypto was it didn't strike anyone as odd uh that all of this that all of these major players just randomly decided to get into the cryptocurrency space especially when we had news uh, like may or something like that that there were a lot of banks around the world who were also mining bitcoin and i told people that that was happening and people said no you're spreading fud stop talking about information like that and i'm like no i feel like i feel like the entirety of what's been happening the, this entire year has been coordinated and i'm sorry if i sound like uh a conspiracy theorist or something like that when you've been planning on getting into crypto when you've been mining cryptocurrency for the past four years this is coordinated Everything that's happened this year, the price is being pushed down. The price is not going up right now. All of the announcements that we have and everyone talking about they're getting into the cryptocurrency space, they're making this thing. This has all been coordinated on an extreme level that a lot of people just won't ever be able to see. And that drives me completely insane because like I, I, I my my theory is that when crypto does eventually explode in price, it'll be when Bitcoin hits around one hundred thousand dollars per coin. This is when normal people, the everyday people, not even you guys, not, 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 not even people who are into crypto, that's when Bitcoin will be uh, advertised as something for normal people to get into. But at that point, normal people, who's going to buy a, a, a complete Bitcoin when it's at $100,000? Uh, Facebook rumors, we've spoken about Facebook potentially making their own cryptocurrency, what have you. No one knows if that's ever going to happen. I'm Facebook coin, I hope they don't name it that because it sounds completely ridiculous. Uh, but there's been so much speculation just around the uh stellar project people making it using it and stuff like that and as far as uh, the entire like i said uh the blockchain world wire first of all as i'm searching around for this i'm clicking on different articles trying to find out the exact information because a lot of them uh they'll have like you know similar information or sometimes they more or less copy and paste it and then uh, they'll change this word or they'll change something else a lot of them were pretty much exactly the same 
what I thought was the most interesting was, is this information from Fortune. This article is actually from, where is it? Missing it. October 16, 2017. That is just about a year from this moment right now. It says the new blockchain banking process is also notable because the banks will initially rely on a Bitcoin-like digital currency known as Lumens to facilitate the cross-border payments. Currently, banks arrange such payments by maintaining foreign accounts in a, crypt in a local currency called Nostro accounts and then debiting the accounts as required, a process that is both slow and ties up capital. Under the new blockchain arrangement, banks will conduct the transactions using Lumens and then rely on local market makers to convert the Lumens into local fiat currency. The Lumens are created by a nonprofit company called Stellar, founded a by Jed McCaleb, a well-known figure in the payments and cryptocurrency world. Both Stellar and IBM are part of a project called Hyperledger Fabric, which is building open source blockchain tools to support payment infrastructure. I remember the beginning of the IBM Stellar partnership type thing. And I remember people talking about it. I think part of the reason why you, you, you may... Um, how do I say this? I think... Like I said, if this is all going to happen and these numbers are actually true, I wonder what this means, not even for Stellar, not even for XRP, but for the entire cryptocurrency space as a whole. Uh, we, ha I'm, I don't even know. We haven't really gotten any news about this over the last couple of months. Like it's been more or less dry when it came to the entire Stellar thing. So the, I, I, I guess the overall overlying point is before I, going like a nine and a half hour rant is that it seems to me that in my opinion this could be something extremely important like i i don't want to i i, I don't want to oversell it i i don't want to undersell it if you will as well but i feel like this is something that could i don't know I'm I'm trying to really get my words together to kind of give you guys exactly what I'm really thinking about. If Stellar is going to be used, rather if Lumens are going to be used by IBM, because when you read through the different things, it, it kind of has, you know, not conflicting information, but as far as what's happening, it seems like that they're going to just exclusively IBM be using the uh, Lumens token to facilitate this. If they are really, why would... How would this partnership go through if Ripple has already partnered with other banks around the world? You kind of, for a little dive into my mind, we had news for, for quite some time now that at this point, the Ripple team has partnerships with over 200 banks, 50 central banks, uh, and other institutions and exchanges and so and so and so. And we had news from Brad Garlinghouse that dozens of banks will be using X Rapid, therefore using XRP by the end of next year or even sometime in 2019. That then confuses me as to these numbers because that would mean that some of these banks who were also partnered with IBM and therefore Stellar are also then partnered with Ripple, if that makes sense. Like you can't have 97% of the world's largest banks and not be double partnered. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like maybe banks are trying their hand at both. Maybe they're just trying their luck. Uh, this is all very, it's not confusing. It's just like, it's very, very odd. And I, I guess I'm kind of, I don't know. Sorry to, uh, yeah, this is just me. Like, this is me actually thinking. I know I normally talk very fast, but it's like, I don't know. Uh... I'm going to continue, obviously, looking for more information on this. When, 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 when I was looking through everything and I was trying to figure out exactly what was going on, exactly what was happening, uh, how all of this was going, uh, this, is, this is where it kind of gets a little weird. And please, you know, stick with me, if you will. I feel like this has been, I want to say, a long time coming. Or I feel like... 
something is happening with Stellar that I can't put my finger on, and I think that is probably the best way to say it. And it's not negative, it's not really positive. It's more like, so I was looking through, after I was reading all of this stuff, I, I decided to go look at the the price of Stellar. I was like, okay, because I was reading in the other articles and they were talking about that the price of um, the, the Lumens token, if you will, had um, jumped up based on the the you know the speculation that we've had over the last couple of days. And then it's kind of, I guess, more or less settled down like to where the, all the other coins are. One of the things that's always gotten me about Lumens or Stellar, if you want to kind of say that, is the circulating supply to the total supply. And for those who are listening and are maybe on the train or maybe are driving so you can actually have a better understanding of what I'm talking about, the circulating supply of Stellar Lumens at the moment right now, it says 18.8 billion. To, to round it up, it says 19 billion, more or less. The total supply in general is 104 billion. And one of the things that I've really got me annoyed for a very long time in the cryptocurrency space, especially when people were talking about uh, the centralization of Ripple slash XRP, uh, was that always that the, the not even the, not even the creators, because I, if I'm not, it was somebody from Stellar, if not the creator of Stellar itself, who actually created the XRP token and gifted it to the Ripple people. The main argument has always been how many xrp that the people in ripple actually hold um even though these are in a five year long escrow account this is still a topic of discussion this is why i always i, I never understood and i guess i like i said i kind of diverted around the topic for a very long time simply because i didn't want to get into it i i was tired of people arguing with me or screaming at me in the comment section telling i was spreading fud and stuff like that what it comes down to 18 billion circulating 104 is the actual total supply and then I was like, so where are the other lumens? You know, where is this other 80 something billion tokens that are floating around? Started checking around and I'm going to read through it and then we'll all get it together so that we can all kind of understand exactly what's happening. It says, uh, what is the lumens auction is how does it work? It says Stellar.org mandates a reserve of 5% of the original lumens to support the operations of Stellar.org in that the Stellar Foundation owns 5%. This is what they say. Stellar.org covers its own operational costs via its own lumens in the following ways. They have an auction. The initial auction was in 2015. Uh, the current auction began. To, so this is from seven months ago. So it's not like hyper outdated. Um, as an ethical safeguard, no one formally associated with Stellar. Stellar employees, consultants, on boards will participate in the auction. Uh, we periodically auction large batches of reserved lumens to parties interested in supporting the Stellar.org mission. If you're interested in acquiring a large batch of lumens from Stellar Reserve, contact the foundation. This is what got me. It says there's a Stellar Lumens uh, giveaway. It says 95% of the lumens created when the Stellar network began will be given away to the world. 5% remains with Stellar.org for operational costs. Stellar.org designed the giveaway program to ensure that lumens are given away to diverse groups. They say 50% of individuals who want lumens, 25% for nonprofits, and 20% to Bitcoin holders. For more information on the breakdown, see Stellar.org. I'm going to try and jump back to this in one second. It says to achieve more inclusive digital economy per our mission, Stellar.org works to connect people to low-cost financial services, Giving away lumens for free is an invitation to communities to design the services they need to expand the reach of the network. The availability and active use of lumens on the network will increase the network's utility by many orders of magnitude, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, and so how much is given away prototype yet? Yeah, so that says they're working on something to uh, give away the, the, the lumens more effectively. Why should I buy lumens if you're giving them away for free? Uh, and they have like s s statistics and stuff like that for, uh, how many there are left to be given away and so and so and so. Like I said, bear with me. Uh, when I'm looking for proper information, uh, as far as information, uh, you know, the 50% of individuals who want lumens, that for me is a bit cloudy. I get 25% to nonprofits. I got that. Uh, part of the thing that Lumen says that they want to do is vaguely similar in a cloudy kind of way to what uh, the founder of EOS wants to do and that he's talking about having the inflation to be a part of the, what's it called? 
like the universal basic income type thing, the same exact thing with the people, like barely vaguely, like you can see them kind of through the fog is also Omise Go where they talk about um, unbanking the banked or banking the unbanked. I can't remember exactly what it was. So many people have like an, a, a, an unbanking thing in, in, their, in, their, in their thing right now. Uh, kind of comes down to they want to be able to help people uh, who do not have access to traditional banking to be able to do this as well. So I, I kind of get that in that, that portion. When I read around as to the 20% for Bitcoin holders, I mean, this uh, I know this video seems a bit unorthodox, but you have to understand that this is this is all very weird and I feel like I feel like something is happening with Stellar and I can't put my finger on it and it's driving me absolutely insane. When you when I when I myself looked for information as to the 20% that's going to the Bitcoin holders, the information that I found is it here? No. It's somewhere around here. Uh first puff, all over the place. Uh, it says the stellar the stellar distributed network has a built-in fixed nominal inflation mechanism. New lumens are added to the network at a rate of one percent each year. I said this in my other video when I was talking about the beginning of uh, stellar lumens and stuff like that, like the lumens for beginners. Each week, the protocol distributes the lumens to any account that gets over zero zero. It says point zero five percent of the votes from other accounts in the network. Uh, the the rate of inflation on Stellar Lumens, or rather for the Lumens, comes down to around, I think it's like 800 million new Lumens are created every single year. As far as the 0.05% of votes, when I was searching around, when I, me, myself, was searching around, if you have any proper other information that you can definitely give me or tell other people, please let other people know in the in the description below because what I read from many other sources was that the as far as the uh, zero point zero five percent of the votes that come from the network it's, it's kind of like a um, you can vote for other people on the network to be able to uh, receive the actual new lumens that are going to be created it says you have to vote voting is weighed according to the number of lumens the voting account holds for example if account a has 120 lumens and sets its inflation destination to b the network counts 120 votes for b uh, the distribution of new lumens is limited to once a week. Inflation is run in response to an inflation operation that anyone can submit to the network. This operation will fail if the inflated sequence number isn't one after the last sequence number. It will also fail if sequence one week of the time hasn't elapsed since the network started date. What I read online was that, and for, I know it sounds a bit crazy and, you know, this the, 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 the wording that sometimes is used, was that you can choose, this is why I said, if you know what this is, please explain it. Uh, the voting, you can kind of vote for other things on the network to receive the new lumens that are going to be created. And this kind of comes in part with the 20% being held for Bitcoin holders. It says somewhere online, I was reading on another website, it says the the, the Lumens Foundation believes that, um, that when the new tokens are then given away, that 20% of them should be allocated to Bitcoin holders as they believe that they are like the not the chosen people, but it kind of sounded similar to this. It was something like, uh, they are, um, they are the best candidates for receiving this. That's kind of the way that I read it. And I saw it on multiple different websites, which kind of annoys me because when you read about actual Lumen giveaways or rather the, the, the Lumen giveaway in general, it comes down to that. Apparently they plan on, they're keeping 5% for themselves. They're giving 95% of the lumens away, uh, but in accordance with this, they're also selling a portion of the 95%. And also uh, the people who want lumens, I still don't get that. And the Bitcoin holders, it comes down to what I read once again, is that if you yourself are holding Bitcoin, you then get a piece of that pie. But we know from what we've read many times in other places that not everyone will ever be able to hold Bitcoin. Or rather, there's such a 90, 96% of all Bitcoin is held by 4% of wallets. Which then leads me to question the the number of the allocation of these actual tokens to other, you know, if 96% are held by 4% of wallets, does this 4% of people then receive an, a, a higher amount? Or rather, even then, it seems unfair that only people who are holding Bitcoin would then be able to receive the lumens. Uh, this isn't meant to be a, a, a smear campaign against against lumens, I promise you. It's that I kind of fell down the rabbit hole as I was making this. And the more stuff that I found, the more it kind of, it just kind of got a lot weirder. 
total supply on their website it says the total supply of lumens is 104 billion uh these are the lumens in circulation that are not held by the foundation um 8.6 billion around here have been given away and i don't find any haven't found any clear answer as to when the other lumens are going to be given away because when you read around it says that the lumens that are going to be given away from the other not 95 percent of the five percent that they don't hold are it's meant to be given away to people around the world who are uh not economically hungry like people who need it this is why i said it, it kind of is blurry in the lines of as far as eos and omise go because the eos the point of eos right now or what uh dan larimer has been talking about for the eos project has come down to he said he thinks that universal basic income should be implemented on the network or if not that then something similar to another project that he's going to create simply because he believes that everyone should have a fair share of money same exact thing kind of with the omise go thing I'm not receiving actual understanding as to where the remaining lumens are going to go. Like I said, there was going to be a, a pretty weird uh, video. Uh, I don't know. I feel like something is happening. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Stellar's price exploded. I wonder if Stellar's price could explode. If when these... Uh, at that point, it'll be rounded around 100 billion tokens are going to be in circulation. I guess it comes down more to price. How high will the Lumens token go? Is it going to be used? Uh, if you can use it for any cryptocurrency as a medium of exchange. You guys kind of get what I'm saying. I I, I know it seems a bit weird. This is why I said I, I, I completely fell down the rabbit hole. There's been a lot of talk about Ripple joining Swift speculation time what if this entire time ibm has been working with swift especially if they're actually covering this many transactions so they say or so is actually on their thing and stellar or maybe another cryptocurrency actually gets adopted by swift instead you get what i'm saying i don't to me, it, it 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 all feels very odd. There's been such a huge, even if you look at the uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, the volume of what's happening with Stellar compared to other coins. Like on on any given day, some of the top coins have a a volume of around a billion, half a billion, and this has forty four million. I wonder if this is something that's just gone under everyone's nose. Uh, what is I, I, I feel like I receive, or rather, when there is news about, I feel like there's just not enough news about Stellar and the entirety of what they're doing. Like, I've seen other people talk about Stellar and stuff like that before, but there's never been like a like a dramatically in-depth thing as to exactly the entire point of it. Uh, the When you look at the, 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 the Stellar Foundation and they, part of the reason, hmm, they... A lot of cryptocurrency projects claim and say that they're there to be able to have like a, hmm. they say that the point of them making their project is to help people around the world have access to finance. Uh, we've seen this mimicked many other times before, and I feel like I need proper clarity as to Exactly, because I, I've more or less, uh, as far as like transparency, I, I mean, Ripple has, they've, they've given their all. Like everything that we need to know has, has kind of been set out there simply because, uh, they've been hated for so long and so many people didn't really care for them. I feel like that they, uh, we know exactly how much they own. They know exactly what's going on. They know exactly how we know exactly how their escrow and stuff like that works. I had never even heard of a of a Lumens giveaway. I wonder who the Lumens are actually going to be given away to. Like, what extent of Bitcoin holders? If you're holding more Bitcoin, does that mean that more Bitcoin will be given to you as opposed to other people? Because that could then pose a problem to people who are already Bitcoin rich. Will they then only become stellar rich as well? The same exact thing when we had the Bitcoin forks. Uh, if you were holding 10,000 Bitcoin, you also got 10,000 Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin gold and Bitcoin diamond and all the other things as well. I don't know. Uh, I know, like, like I said, uh, thank you for those, like really sincerely thank you for those who have uh, stuck with me this far. I'm sure uh, at least some people out there understand um, my mumbo jumbo and kind of what I'm saying. I feel like 
Stellar is something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to say the, the like the the wrong thing simply because this is my own opinion. This is speculation, so I can't say, uh, for a fact. Obviously, as I don't work with Stellar and I don't know what they're doing or how they're operating or how they're working. Uh, I guess my main question would be is, one, how did this go under the radar for so long, especially if this is something major that's actually going to happen? If if IBM and in some capacity Swift is going to be using the XLM token to facilitate cross-border payments around the world for 97% of the world's largest banks and its own mainframes process over 90% of all global credit card transactions... That would then mean to me that XLM Lumens is going to be the largest cryptocurrency in the entire world that can't be stopped. But on the other hand, I feel like we would have heard a bit more about this. Like, I feel like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't keep something like that secret. And it's, it's, not, it's not even like that it actually was a secret. It was in many other articles. But I feel, I don't know. I think this definitely might be my weirdest video to date. Uh, thank you all for uh, <laughs> supporting my insanity, but you, you you get what I'm saying. I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions for Stellar. I want to know exactly when this, this is going to be distributed to the other, you know, to the rest of the world and stuff like that. And I guess it would make sense then why the Stellar system has an inflation method of 1% every single year. This seems to me like it is then made to reflect fiat currencies in some sort of way. Because typically in fiat currencies, i.e. the US dollar, the euro, the yen, whatever the case might be, governments print a certain amount of currency every single year. Uh, and this in accordance then becomes the new inflation level. And typically governments try to aim for around the one to maybe the 2% level. And I feel like if you're going to be used, or rather, a lot of people are usually uh, surprised, <laughs> surprised uh, about Lumens simply because the Stellar Foundation, the reason that they were created, it was to be used by banks and institutions. And a lot of other people say that I'm spreading FUD or I'm spreading some type of misinformation. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I can click right here and I can probably even show you. Yep, right here. Uh, which then leads me to believe that if... The 1% inflation thing does happen. It could be because the entire time they were planning on being used, or rather maybe even they were created because they already had a partnership with IBM and therefore the 1% is necessary if they're going to be used by governments who are going to have an implemented or already 1% uh, inflation every single year. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm going to stop speculating, uh, but it's definitely uh, given me a lot to think about. I want to learn more about this in like a really in-depth way because I, f I can't say it. I don't know. I I look forward to seeing what the Stellar team has to say at, at, at Cybos. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting to see if the price of Lumens uh, ends up shooting up from the information that we have. It seems it seems a little odd to me that if you if this is public knowledge and you as a company and your cryptocurrency is going to be used as a major uh, cryptocurrency asset, your coin would probably have gone up in price already. I know we're in a bear market. I got that, uh, but that's kind of major news. This is like this isn't anything to be scoffed at. Uh, the bottom line comes down to. If this is all true, if this is going to happen, if IBM is in fact going to be using the Lumens token on their blockchain and not any other cryptocurrency as a medium of exchange, even though it says that BWW will be able to do this, by my accounts and by my logic, like I said, I try to be as honest with you as possible. Like I don't, I don't make these videos, if you, I'm sure you've noticed, uh, I don't make them to kind of sugarcoat things and give you guys hype and give you guys uh, this is going to happen. This is going to, you know, so I, I try to, th th the reason why I uh, have stuck with and will continue to stick with Ripple, the, the company, is simply because uh, I see what they're doing. They're constantly on the news and stuff like that. But uh, 
by any logical accounts, if this is going to happen, that would then mean that Stellar Lumen should then be the number one cryptocurrency and should decimate Bitcoin. And I'm sure you understand what I'm saying when I say that. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe I should just end the video here. Uh, I, I, I know the video got a bit weird at a certain point, uh, but it is what it is. There's there's just so much happening in, in crypto and so much of it is down to like hyper speculation. And I wonder exactly like what's true, like what exactly is going to happen uh, is for like is if if we get news. Remember, I told you guys before I said when we got information about uh, the entire backed thing, be it KKT and the New York Stock Exchange slash ICE. Uh, getting into the cryptocurrency minefield and them talking about uh, building their own crypto exchange and their own custody thing. I, said, I, I, I thought it was very weird uh, that they were talking about getting into cryptocurrencies, but they kept on only announcing that they were going to be using Bitcoin. And Bitcoin was going to be this, and they're going to have Bitcoin features, and they're going to be having Bitcoin so-and-so, and that they didn't mention any other coins. What if Fidelity and the New York Stock Exchange, once again, hyper-speculation, actually are all joined together and they do and they've been hush hush for years now and they actually have always planned on using lumens but then but then at the same exact time that also leads me to like then then what's the entire thing with ripple like ripple has been part ripple has partnered with people ripple has partnered with the people who print money like what what does this all mean like who is what are we missing that's me, you, I, us. Like, what are we all missing from this puzzle? Like, what is, uh, even when you have, like, the major investors and stuff like that in the cryptocurrency space, like Mike Novogratz and stuff like that, they always talk about that. They don't They don't foresee a future where there's just one cryptocurrency making it. And I said I uh, many times, I said, there's a reason why only certain coins are being spoken about and why I think firmly uh, that it might be time, my personal opinion, me, myself, I, that it may be time for people to start to, uh, reevaluate their crypto portfolios uh, as far as we aren't getting news on a daily basis about the number 114 coin. We're not getting news about number 99. I have no idea what number 99 is. It's constantly the same coins over and over. And this has led me to believe myself that the coins that are going to make it or rather that my I think that will be around in the next five years have already been chosen. I've said it before. I think it's going to be Bitcoin. I think it's going to be Ethereum. I think it's going to be EOS. I think it's going to be XRP. Stellar is, I mean, come on. Stellar is probably going to be there. I can see Litecoin. Omizego needs to launch. I could see Neo simply because of the hype around it for the entire uh, uh, China's Ethereum killer, if you will. But as far as the other coins, we don't really hear a lot about them. And it could just be simply because, you know, you know, when you're when you're a a major financial institution like Fidelity or New York Stock Exchange or the Swiss Stock Exchange or the German Stock Exchange, maybe they're they're trying to play it as as safe as possible and just trying to uh you know, just use like some of the most popular coin to be able to draw people in. And maybe as time goes on, this is probably exactly what's going to happen. As time goes on, they'll probably add other coins or announce that they have been uh, partnering with certain other coins for the last couple of years. But there's a huge, there's a huge amount of people and a lot of analysts uh, who think that 95, 95%, if not more of cryptocurrencies that we have right now are going to completely disappear within the next couple of years. And only certain coins are going to be used on a daily basis. And this is why, uh, not not why I only specifically talk about these coins on the channel. You may have noticed I like have a, a very narrow range of coins that I talk about. It's simply because a lot of the coins that people were telling me to talk about in December, in January, in February, in March, these coins don't exist anymore. They've been delisted. Uh, their, their blockchains have had 51% attacks. And I, and I sit back and I'm like, thank goodness sometimes I didn't talk about these coins because I can tell that they're scams and I've, whatever. Uh, that's, that's completely besides the point. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I, I, I know, uh, it was kind of all over the place. Uh, but you understand what I'm saying, right? If lumens are going to be used by IBM, that would mean what then? Like, what is the, what's the end goal? 
I, I always see a lot of people who are uh, not bullying me, <laughs> but people who were like uh, getting upset that I didn't talk about Stellar, but there was never an explanation as to why they wanted me to talk about Stellar. And like a lot of times it, it came down to like, uh, why are you shilling XRP as opposed to talking about Stellar? But it was never like, why don't you talk about the, it's not World Wide Web. What is this thing called? Blockchain World Wire? Blockchain. Yep. There we go. Uh, look at me. Blockchain World Wire. Like, uh, the point is, uh, I will definitely be uh, paying attention to the entire Cybos event, uh, trying to figure out exactly what's going on, exactly what they're going to announce. If... <laughs> If Stellar Lumens announces at the Swift conference that they are working with Swift or that IBM has built this thing that is going to be, yeah, how, how does that happen? Like, how does how does that work? Like, how exactly is IBM's thing going to be used? Like, they would have, in theory, have to have partnered or already be used by Swift in order for this to kind of go off without a hitch. Like, you can't have a clientele consisting of 97% of the world's largest banks and not be partnered with Swift who money is going through from these major banks. Do you understand what I'm saying? I I, I, I know it's all speculation. I'm going to let you guys go. I feel like I'm wasting your time. Uh, but uh, thank you for going down uh, uh, the rabbit hole with me. I know it's a bit insane. I'm still wondering about this entire plugin with this. And if at some point millions of people around the world, potentially maybe 15,000 people will then uh, receive lumens. I don't remember any point in my life where I actually was airdropped lumens or received the lumens in some sort of way. One exactly how it's going to happen. I think that's definitely 100,000, 95% going to do it for this video. Uh, a lot of questions I have in on every single front. I wonder what, what will then happen to the price of lumens if we have this many coins circulating around? Like one of the major arguments against cryptocurrencies or rather uh, what makes a cryptocurrency uh, valuable or whatever the case might be that people are constantly saying when they talk about these coins is the, the, the amount of the circulating supply. Is, is, this, is this distribution of cryptocurrencies that have not yet been given away going to take 40 years? Is it going to take 50 years? Like how slow is this drop going to be? Because I have a strong, you know, realistically, if they dropped all of these coins on the, on the network at the exact same time, Lumens would be worth dust. Uh, and I assume this is not something that they actually want. Uh, this is why I heard, I, I, I remember hearing rumors, rumors, I remember hearing rumors, oh my gosh, rumors before that the Stellar team owned 80% of all the lumens. That's where the uh, thing comes from. And yeah, okay, I, I'm, I'm done. It's it, it's far too much. I'm pretty sure that there might be some type of a, a follow-up video for this uh, where I hopefully get down to the bottom of things because this is, this is a lot to take in. All right, everyone. Uh, first, thank you for that person in, in the comment section who mentioned uh, something about Stellar lumens and the... the BWW, BMM, yeah, BWW, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you've officially uh, destroyed my brain in this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, and or evening. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, thank you once again for watching and or listening. Please, for the love of goodness, let me know exactly what you think about all of this because I I can't uh, deal with this on my own. Uh, let me know what you, like, what do you think is happening? Like, am, am I missing something? Am I overreacting underreacting like what have what do you think a, a partnership like this could potentially mean to the cryptocurrency space how has lumens gone under the radar for so long i feel like if more people knew about a partnership with something as significant as this i feel like the price should be at least like four or five dollars right now uh once again thank you hope you all enjoyed <laughs> and i'll talk to you all soon See you.